Yo, what's going on, 67 Left Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. It's tryhard Thursday, so we're going to be tryharding, which is something I desperately need. Um, I'm going to play Bastet because it's my first game on, and I need... Uh, I don't really want to aim, you know what I mean? Oh, Seagrain. Cygrain. I bet you that's like, a, that's like an anime person, and I just, I'm saying the name super wrong. Okay, you know, I have a video idea where I only use tier two items. Um, but I also feel like it's a stupid ass idea and I shouldn't do it. Uh, but I might do it anyways. Who knows, man? I'm going to start tier two soul leader. You're really not going to hit so hard with this bass set. I'm not going to lie to you. This is kind of, this is like a, it's like a same thing. Didn't Rexy already do it? I got news for you, buddy. Me and Rexy are the same human being. We are. Like, like he's got he's got the attractiveness. I I really don't have anything else. Like, uh, uh, but but he has the attractiveness. I have the same brain as him, though. We we do dual content together, and there's really not much different you can do about it. You know what I mean? Then you need to do it and not lose or else you are worse confirmed. How many times have I done Rexy's challenge better than him to prove that I am I am the GOAT? How many times have I done it? Like at least maybe once. What a six, how are you, man? Alright. Uh damage. Okay, I tried to try to press my two. I'm doing, I'm doing these here. I'm doing these. Oh, he started with the Shelelag. The Shelelag. I don't really know if that's how you say it. That's how I say it, though. So my mom taught me to, to nice. say Shelelag. I'm gonna do that so that I can do everyone equally. You have, like, literally no mana. How? Oh, you're so lucky if I had my two, if I had my two, if I had my two. Boom! You're dead. Oh. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think he was actually dead. Um, there's no way. He, he's not gonna know that I ulted this red buff. So he's gonna play scared because of my ult. But he's also gonna be super confused on how I did the red buff so fast. And it's because I'm so skilled and sexy. Nobody tell him otherwise, please. Boom. Um, am I the only one that can't see the two charging on that skin? Seems a little bit pay to win. But again, I did just wake up, so... Maybe that's why. No, you can, def you can definitely see it. I'm just a moron. My bad. All right, I've, got, I've gotten every piece of experience points on this map. I'm just going to back out now. I'm going to go get Soul Eater, and then I'll start Breastplate. Because it is Try Hard Thursday, and I do want to try hard. Um, I do need to go Beat Stick this game. I could go Contagion, to be honest, because he does have two forms of CC, because a Silence is a form of hard CC. Why don't you cancel your one earlier? Uh... I didn't know you could do that. Whoa. I didn't know you could right click cancel your one, dude. Holy crap. That's insane. Like I should have just canceled it there. I wasn't going to jump back. Oh my God. I mean, but here's here's another thing about canceling the one. It's not very good to do, I feel like. You always want that option if, like, if they go crazy on your ass. You always want that option to just run back. Oh. I watch this. Damn it. Let's go, dude. Thorns is so OP. Thorns is so OP. 
go for clearing so the cooldown is lower yeah that's fair it's just like when you're fighting you always want that option to jump back and also if you cancel it then the little icon that your character has goes away i assume let me check yeah okay so when that icon goes away on your character they know for a fact that you canceled the jump too so they can get kind of crazy on your ass so it's good for clearing if like they're not gonna fight you but keeping that option open is actually a lot safer like significantly safer this is really good information though thank you for telling me like unironically that's very very good info um i have the scepter so i can i can fight this I don't think he knows I have the scepter, apparently. I'm jumping it. Don't hit me. Um, I mean, he just doesn't win the fight. Gonna kill the minis here because they don't have a lot of mana right now. Wow. Wow, Z's. Alright, I live these because Soul Leader's OP. Um <laughs> He's gonna dash to me. Check it, check it, check it, check it. He's gonna dash to me. Oh, he's not. Wow, that's discipline. That is discipline. Alright. All right, my big brain video game human being over there is a disciplined person. Now, what if randomly I fucking giga yeeted that set of red ball? It, it, he already did it. That's unfortunate. Uh, he has blue buff on, so he didn't pick up red buff. I got to make sure he doesn't get that red buff. Do, 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 do. All right. Was that 16 stacks away? So two waves and a buff from a finished soul leader. Wow. I missed both my three and my two. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. That was something. <laughs> you got a 500 pot, by the way. Which I can only say he did not get a 500 pot, by the way. Um, I might be deceased here. Wasn't really expecting the all. Missed everything again. I'm one one thing away from finishing my soul leader. Boom. Thank you so much. Um, I could totally kill him. I have soul leader, I have the bait. Oh my god, I need heart seeker ASAP. Brother! Blackthorn into frostbound? You have a million HP. He has actually one million HP. I hate that, dude. I I literally ulted to try to get the buff before I could get there, and then he just he he autoed it for like fourteen, and I and I lost it. Oh my. Oh my, I'll, I'm never gonna, dude, I just, I, oh man, that's my streamer? Hey man, <laughs> I'm also your YouTuber. <laughs> what, does that, what does that say about you? Forget me, what does it say about you? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna clear this wave actually first. Dude, he has so much health. He's at 2200 already, he's got 800 more health. By the way, using the three to, to throw it past the minion wave groups them up. I want beat stick and I want heart seeker. I'm going to go beat stick first. We like the reliable content. God. Darn it, Maya. I'm reliably bad. What up, Bo? Hello. Hello. You are not that guy, pal. Not today. Call blames. He horrific. 
Peace out. Okay, well, there's his beads. There's his beads and his alt and his horrific. I'm pretty sure. What do you want to fight me for? Hmm? What is this? What is all this fighting? What is all this fighting about? You have no power. You've only built health at this point. You've only built a crap ass ton of HP. Come on, one more stun. Nice. Right, I can get the tower and I can get red buff here. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Is his build okay or nah? No. I'd argue that his build is pretty bad only because it's supposed to be... His build is supposed to entice early game for free, right? Like, he's supposed to be, like, enabling early game freedom. Do whatever you want, run around, and fight, and be, be the greatest. Um, the problem is that by building strong items... You're, ju you're juking right. Well, you didn't even juke. He didn't even juke. What the fuck? By building early game items, um, they're generally focused on HP. And if you build too many of them in a row, AKA three in a row, <laughs> then your early game focus build starts to have late game and mid game uh, soft spots, which in this case, they're very soft. Um, and a soft spot in your build can be many things. It can be lack of pen, Lack of sustain, lack of cooldown. Um, in his situation, it's currently a lack of damage. He has 35 power, 35 power, no power. Um, but on top of that, he has no cooldown. I guess he has 10%. There's no cooldown. And he has um, no sustain. I mean, he's got the mana sustain from Blackthorn, I suppose. But... He's basically just built a shit ton of HP. And hopes that it works out. Hello. You don't mind if I take this over for you, do you? That is tragic. I think I'm okay with this, though, actually. Oh, maybe not if you have a horrific. I'm gonna do that and then walk away. Alright. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ow. Nice All right. Oh, still there, huh? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to bait out his, his bull demon, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm doing, running around like a chicken with my head cut off, I'm literally just waiting for his bull demon to run out. It's actually that simple. Because he can't do anything because he's got no minions. Because he has no damage. Like... I guarantee I could back and let him hit that that tower for the rest of Bull Demon. Nothing's gonna happen. I Nothing is gonna happen. Eh, maybe not, but I, like him. I mean, enjoy it, I guess. You don't do damage. You hit that thing for like 14, brother. I have 150 power. He has he is 130 just because he finished his his vital. But like, you can check the differences in the build, right? I have 30% cooldown with pen, percent pen and double base pen. And he has HP. And he still has less power than me. It's kind of, kind of not good. What up, green gobble man? I missed. I really want to pick up that red buff. He's building more defense. That's that's not good for you, man. You need you need some damage in your life. You need like you need something to help you out. Hello, I missed. All right, let's fight. Come on, fight me. I'm literally so not scared of him. I can walk at him, doing anything. It just doesn't matter anymore, you know. It's just, it's kind of unfortunate. 
Because I do think that Amaterasu is quite good. Um, but this build is very bad. Like, you need... You need some help in the mid game. Some help in the late game. Stuff like that. Like, if he just, if he went Blackthorn Breastplate, or even Regrowth, right? Blackthorn or Regrowth or Breastplate. Either one of those, that's fine. That's enough early game. And you get a little bit of cooldown. You get a bunch of survivability. That's a good build, right? But going blackthorn frostbound that's a, a wasted slot you never go frostbound in this scenario um you could he could have even gone blackthorn regrowth or breastplate and then vital amp and it would still would have been better he could have built like two of the 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 items he has already and it still would have been better that's all right i mean you know you got to play the god mess up on the god to learn with the god so maybe he's just maybe he's learning Maybe he's just learning. I wouldn't say holy bad build. No, he's learning. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what's up, Sexy Samuel Squad? We're back. Game two. Um, This is a very good matchup for me, I think. Well, actually, it used to be a very good matchup because I could just ult the ult. But after the 9.5 revert, the ult might just kill me anyways. So maybe it's not as good as it used to be. But that's what I'm here to find out. That is what I am here to find out. Um, the alt comes out, the alt comes out, <laughs> the smite 2 comes out today. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely be playing it. I'll get some videos out on the new gods as well. I love smite 2, man. Smite 1 is run its course. You know, I like, I get a little bit, I get way more angry. I was going to say a little bit more angry, but I get way more angry or tilted with smite 1 because I know that smite 2 has so much potential to be so good. Um, and so I, I love smite 2 and loving smite 2 makes me hate smite 1 <laughs> it's like whenever I play smite 2 for the weekend whenever I play smite 2 over the weekend it's just it just gets me upset that I have to log 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 I have to log my gal my southern came out for a second I got log my gal to uh smite 1 after you know I used all those buttons already so I get this for free I'm pretty sure how much damage? 117. 104 after protections, apparently. Oh, you're dead. Ooh. Wow, he he actually does not get that fun. Thorns did 114 already? Holy. All right, peep this. Oop. Now I can hit the red buff without taking any damage. Which means when he comes back over here, I'll be sustained up and ready for the fight. And I'll be level five. Hello. Oh, I really thought that was going to pillar him off. Not even going to lie to you. Not even going to lie to you. You wouldn't do something stupid like go for the XP camps, would you? What? No shot you're doing that, gamer. All right. I hit the first four spears and he just died, so I just canceled. Oh, the first three. He died in the first three spears. Um, I mean, I can kind of just stay aggro here. He has alt, or he will very shortly, but I don't think I'm scared of it. In general, you like smite one or smite two? I like Smite 2. Well, okay, let me explain. I like Smite 2 more right now, even though it's a worse game. Um, because it's new, right? Like, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like, oh, new shiny toy, right? So it's more fun to play and explore on. Um, arguably, arguably Smite 1 is still a better game. But Smite 2 is going to be significantly better. Like, it's not even going to be close how far ahead Smite 2 will be um, in terms of design, balance, and, and all that shit because they're not, like, balancing physical versus magical. They're balancing, they're balancing gods individually. Also, I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yeah, you went the wrong way. 
Now I think we die. Perfect. So a lot of people don't know that when you jump on someone, um, you actually do have enough time on occasion. Like it depends on the way you're facing when you land. But if you're landing facing the God, then you have enough time to drop a pillar and two um, while they're in the air. You don't, you don't have to jump and then two off of your jump. You can jump and then pillar and then stun on occasion. Like I said, it's not all the time. Yeah, see like right there, how he he kind of got bounced a different way. You have to judge it based on a like... Oh, damn it. I tried to walk out, but I couldn't. You have to judge it based on like a, a per a per leap basis. But sometimes you can do it. Um, I'm gonna thorns and then jump on him, and he's gonna fucking try to kill me, but he can't. Perfect. All right, now I can cheese the red buff by auto attacking three times, backing out, auto attacking twice, backing out, and then pillaring. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, now I can kill also because he doesn't have, he doesn't have Kraken. So a jump stun straight up just kills him. Perfect. He got my scepter, but he died for it. Um, I think I'm just going to go grab Aussie. And tier two pestilence, because it is try hard Thursday, and I do want to make sure I shut him down. Kind of surprised at the no surrender, I'm not gonna lie to you. I killed him five times in under five minutes and he didn't surrender. Right. He's just chilling. I'm gonna go do bull demon. If he comes over to Bull Demon, I just kill him for free, so. Let's see. There he is. So what I can do is I can like back out and, and go in. Because I can scare him. Um, he does have ult, which I do need to be a little bit careful of. And... Oh, I was gonna say, and dead. As soon as I turn the corner, I throw my two, he dies, he just surrendered. That's fair. But yeah, if you're, if you do Bull Demon, you pull it to the edge right here. You can, like, auto attack, because Bull Demon doesn't full heal instantly. So you can auto attack and, like, turn, get them to run away a little bit, and then turn back to Bull Demon. And they've only restored like a couple hundred HP, right? And I'm doing 200 damage per auto, basically, like 185 or whatever. Um, again, you legend. Oh, goat. You're the goat. All right. I'll see you guys in game three. Welcome back, squad, to game number three. We're going to suck some homies. Um, This is my favorite skin, by the way. I know that like it's not that much different from his main skin. But the blades, I think, look so cool when they're completely different colored like that. Like this this bone red blade and then this like almost elegant like pink purple blade. It's so cool. I don't mind some of these other skins. But just nothing compares to this one for me. I don't know why. Lancelot. Oh, do I like this matchup? No. No, I don't. And I don't because when I alt, he just jumps on his horse. Because my initial hit of my alt does no damage. I've seen the, the initial hit, <clears throat> hit of my alt does no damage. Um, I mean, do I need to sustain early? I actually might. I want to go soul eater. 
but I'm this is gonna be I'm gonna be making the same mistake that I told you guys not to make in the uh in the Amaterasu game, the way the Amaterasu built. Because I'm gonna be going Blackthorn into Soul Leader. And Soul Leader needs time to ramp up. Um Oh. Uh good luck, have fun. Soul Leader needs time to ramp up. And it's a very you are handsome, yo. What a kind gentleman. Um and Blackthorn isn't like gonna do very much damage, so both Blackthorn and Soul Leader, and then I'm forced to go defense third item if I want to have a chance at winning the game. Um, which means I'm gonna do no damage for basically till late game. Like until we're level like 16. I either kill him at level like three to seven with my Blackthorn. I kill him between level th levels three and seven based off a sustained fight. And then I kill him from level like 15 to 20. Those are the only times that I'm going to be able to do any damage to him. I'm pretty sure. So obviously I'm trying to be very aggro here. Damn, dude. What if you keep tier 2 Blackthorn and just go straight Soul Eater? That's actually not a bad play. I am knock-up immune, by the way, in my 2, so he can't actually use um, <clears throat> that ability that he has that, like, knocks you back and then swipes. He can't use that on me because my 2 will just completely negate it. He's obviously just going to run over here. I just want the minis. Um, buddy. Right, I can pretty much never kill him, I think. Okay, he's gonna run away. His relic is thorns, obviously, because he used it already. So I'm not scared of like an Aegis bait or anything like that. He needs to be a little bit careful. Uh, because I can't just ult. He was so scared of me that he didn't even do the red buff. He could have just gotten the red buff. Dude, but that's like, that's a fine example as to why this matchup is bad for me. Is his alt, or not even his alt, but just like... I actually am going to do that, that idea that you said in chat. I think that's a good idea. Who said that? Take. Keep T2 Blackthorn and go Soul Leader. I like that idea. Um, But... A prime example as to why this matchup is so bad for me is because... Lancelot's horse shield will just completely eat up like all of my burst. And Sukiyomi is kind of a burst god. Like his alt very burst heavy. Can I get this before you show up? I can. Okay, don't mind me. Don't care. I really don't know how Oh, I think you're dead here. I don't know how my two missed him, to be honest. Maybe it was just slightly out of range or something. It must have just been slightly out of range. Slightly out range. He also went Blackthorn too. I could go start getting my Soul Eater done right now, which I, I think I will. I What I could do, because I have this tier two Blackthorn, so I could actually not back here and I could go straight to his blue buff and try to fight him there. Not even try to fight him, just like try to cheese his blue buff out, but it's smarter if I go and start getting my stacks on my soul leader. Look at that damage, dude. Okay, now he has to ult. Yep. Ow. Um, another thing you can do with Sukayumi right now is you your enhanced auto attacks do actually outrange the tower. So what you can do 
is just uh oh he's on this horse oh i'm dead here Ooh. what you can do is you can auto attack from out of range He's just got so much range on that horse. I'm a little scared. He's playing it well. I like it. I like the way he's playing this game out. Only one death so far, and I've been kind of hyper agile. Oh, I think that might have been a mistake, though. I think he threw his horse a little too early. They got slightly owned for it. Oh, maybe I've been owned. Oh, uh, yeah. He, uh, he horn charted and got on his horse way faster than I thought he could. Way faster. I, I don't, I mean, is it, I don't know. I feel like it's still worth it to get Blackthorn because it's 10% cooldown. And it's also 20 more power and 200 more health. For only 1100 gold, that's kind of worth it. Oh, he did red, and now he's going to go pick it up. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem with this matchup is, like, literally exactly what you're saying. Like, I just can't... I just can't hurt him because of horse. Can't hurt because of horse. Right, his ult is down, so I do this. And I literally can't kill him. There we go. Nope. I literally can't kill him, dude. He can just run away. He can just hop on the horse and run away. Crazy. Such a bad matchup for me. Alright, that was dumb. That was dumb. Getting on the horse and throwing the horse at the wave. Crazy. You heard a figure Sunder. Sunder is definitely a good play here. I was thinking about Thunder before we even loaded in the game when I saw Lance a lot. Um, and I do agree that I think I should probably go Thunder. Erosion is an item that's okay to do, but it's not going to do enough. It's only 30% of a shield. And even with only 30% of a shield, or even with 70% of his overall shield, he can still do that. He can still just hop on his horse and run away. So, it's not great. I'm definitely not... I'm definitely getting a bit matchup diffed here for sure, but with some solid play, I can alleviate the pain a little bit. All right, I have max cooldown now because I got 10% from that and 20% from that. So I'm at max cooldown. Um, he went Blackthorn Breastplate, and now he's going into Beat Stick, I assume, which is, in my opinion, the correct way to build. So he's and he's doing good. When I, if you remember earlier when I was uh, like deconstructing that Amaterasu's build, I did say I think if she went breastplate or uh, blocked one into breastplate that it would have been a better build. And here it is. Here it is. A better build. Are you going to ult me? You maybe should. You didn't ult me. Alright, I do get red buff here. Lower shield, you can out damage and cancel it. I don't think erosion is going to do enough for me to do that, to be honest. I think Sunder will. I don't really mind this. Alright, you're dead. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Power down. So his misplay there is whenever he's the one that engages on me, um, he ha he's using his horse to engage, right? So what he needs to do, if he's going to win this game, if he's in stream and he's listening, then he's going to win the game. If he follows this advice. Um, so hopefully he's not, but what he needs to do is he needs to never use his horse aggressively. 
And I, I'm not even kidding. Like, literally, what you want to do is you want to use your three to get close to me without taking any poke damage and then fight me, get all my cooldowns down, my one, my two, my three. You use all your cooldowns and some auto attacks and stuff like that. And then, after all the cooldowns are gone, then you hop on the horse, run away, and wait for cooldowns again. That is how you win this fight. Or win this game as him. Oh god, I almost killed myself. If if I if I landed that alt hit, I would have died. Spooky. A uh, second relic. What do I want? I'm thinking serrated. More life steal. More percent pen. And when I say more percent pen, I mean literally any percent pen. See, when he hops on the horse and uses the damaging ability there, it means that his horse is on cooldown for like eight seconds, which means I can just beat his ass. Because when we're close, because he's a melee character as well, right? So when we're close, my one, I hit him with it, and then I also take it out of him. So he just, like, my cooldown is almost irrelevant. I stayed. My cooldown on my one is almost irrelevant. Like, I, it almost doesn't even exist. Um, I cannot get this. I'm just going to do some damage to it, though. Actually, I might be able to. And I know the infinite mana cheat, please. Black door. Um, I'm going to die for this. All right. Dying for Phoenix is super worth it, in my opinion. Um, now we go Thorns. Actually, here's the thing. Not Thorns, by the way. Sunder. Here's the thing, though. Um, I think I might go Hydras. Serrated and Hydras. That's 30% more pen and a lot of power on my auto attacks. Yes, I'm overcapping cooldown by 10% now, but I don't think that matters. But here's the thing. I fully believe... That I don't need Sunder anymore. Because if I'm playing off of him, he is playing aggro, right? He's using his horse aggressively. If he's going to throw his horse at me and get rid of his shield for me, I don't need to get rid of his shield. So what I can do is I can just horrific him during a fight. And then if he does get on his horse during horrific, it still has a 40% reduction to their shield. I'm sorry, it's 50% reduction. And I can also, I can also horrific during their escape if I want, before I throw an ability, because it'll take away 50% of that shield before anything else happens. Uh, he's going to ult. I just want to get his ult. I just want to get his ult there. So let's see how he handles this, this fire minion wave. Okay, aggressive. Um, now dead. Well, it could have been dead, but I missed. If my if my two hit, he was dead. Uh, I'm not scared of a fight here, to be honest with you, because I'm pretty sure I win. Okay, not if you can get on your horse again. Damn it! Horse is so OP, man. If my one hit him without horse shield, I think he would have died. I think horse shield is what? 300 when it's max rank. Which just completely eats up the damage of my one, basically. Because my one does about 400 damage. But that's only... That's before protections, so... And I mean, he's got some protections. I just go Heartseeker last item, surely. No way Heartseeker's wrong. I mean, it maxes out my percent pen. There's a percentage of his health, and he's at 2140. That's not bad. I don't give a shit about blue buff, by the way. Black Thorn is OP. Um, and also, I don't really care about his Phoenix spawning in. Because his Phoenix will be low HP and I have Hydras. Which means, if you remember what I said earlier, I can, I can hit objectives from outside of their range. 
So while he's like turtling and protecting his, his thing, um, I I just get to not give a shit about it, to be honest with you. Because I can just do this. Boom. Boom. All right. He altered aggro and just lost the game. I mean, he, he was a little scared, I think, just because what are you going to do against a guy that can literally kill your Phoenix from outside of the range? Um, and in his mind, play aggro was the the way to play. Um, but the only way to play is actually to sack your Phoenix completely. Never die for your Phoenix. Dying for your Phoenix means you lost your Titan. Okay? Never die for your Phoenix. Unless you're taking a fight that is very, very close, but you have pretty positive on your chances to win it. Then it's understandable. Or if your Titan is like 5 HP, then fuck it. Your Phoenix is now your Titan. If you lose Phoenix, you lose Titan. You know what I mean? If your Titan is 1 HP. So anyways, I'll see you guys in game four. Yo, what's up gamers? We're back. I think this is game number four, maybe game number five. I don't fully remember. I've played on her. Uh, I've played on her. Oh, Bastet and... Tsukiyomi. So I'm pretty sure this is game four. Kali and Hades are open, which is both super, super OP. Uh, he wasted some bands. He banned Achilles, Thoth, and Soul. Um, now, do I want Kali and play for the late game or Hades and play for the mid game? Um... <clears throat> I'd say Kali is better against Mammon. Kali can also beat Hades, actually. I will play I'll play Kali here. Guan Yu. Okay. Well, I, I planned for the worst. And he did not pick the worst. This is gonna be a really hard game for him. Not only because I do more damage than him. Um, but also I can stop all of his clear with my with my three. So, because I can stop all of his clear with my three, what should I do? I should get some mana sustain. I don't need to stack this game. Stacking this game is a bait. It doesn't matter. I don't need to do it. What I need to do is make sure that I have... Should I invade? No. Uh, making sure that I have enough mana to use my three when he uses his three. So I'm going to start blue buff instead of red buff. And you can totally start red buff on Kali, by the way. But I'm going to start blue buff instead of red buff. <clears throat> and I'm going to just stun his three. Like, that's all I want to do. If he doesn't stun his three, or if I don't stun his three, then our clears are probably a little bit a little bit even, actually. He might even clear a little bit better than me if I don't stun his three, so. We'll see. He could invade me, too. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. It would not be good because I started my three. But, um, I'm using my three, so. I'm using my three for power. And he's not invading me. You can tell by his gold. It means he killed the minis. Wow, I am deceased already. I'm just going to pop pots. Oh, nope. I spent my whole time just fighting him. Kill that minion to get four. He's dead. All right. Pretty basic. I don't know how he's going to win this game because he cannot clear the wave. Um... And then if he if he clears the wave and then tries to use his two on the wave, then he just dies, you know? I will let you get your three off on the wave now because I'm going to do this nonsense. You coming over here? Oh, you are. Okay, I'll kill you too then. Nice. Red buff is mine. Fight me. All right, perfect. So what you saw there, that alt. So Kali's alt, if you go back in the video, 
slow if so go back in the video slow it down a bit um i auto attack twice for 44 damage which is my auto attack damage on him very very fast because your alt as kali is actually one of the fastest auto attack resets in the entire game Sometimes the and um is a good i think i'm just gonna go hydras and by using your alt aggressively not only do you get the little tick damage i mean it didn't do much it did 18 damage right i only got one tick of the damage but um not only are you you getting the damage from the alt you're also getting slow immunity if they're trying to run away and you're also that's mine thank you nope thank you uh and you're also gonna get that auto attack reset so if you are holding down i'm i'm not scared of you should i be should i be scared of you oh hey he's got blink yeah sure i wasn't gonna kill him i wasn't gonna kill him but the the second he went for the wave he was too greedy like i could have jumped in and killed him before probably but if i missed an ability it was too risky i, I could have died when he went for the wave it was guaranteed basically it was guaranteed he was gonna he was gonna get owned also yes i got tier one morning star um as well as tier two hydras because i'm gonna go dominance as well i don't really need de uh defense this game because what is he gonna do realistically for me Oh, I could just kill him here. Again, all I did was I abused the auto attack reset of Kali alt. That's why I ulted so, so aggressively. Uh, let's get his blue buff. He could stop me from getting this pretty easily, to be honest. But I don't know if he's still going to play the game. Oh, he is. Hello. Yeah, this is Tri Art Thursday. Um, I don't want him to have rock. Hello. Man, he's definitely just gonna surrender, right? He's kind of getting owned. What up, Dame? Yeah, I'll kill him. Yeah. I popped the thorns. I popped the thorns and I used tower shots to buff the damage of thorns. That is what happened. Pop thorns, take damage from tower. Thorns will do 200 plus. And I will walk away with the most insane amount of numbies possible also the reason i popped thorns and then jumped on him was because if i jumped on him and then popped thorns he would have been able to get away before his alt or before before thorns popped he would have been able to alt and get away with it that's why you got to do things in the right order I kind of don't care about blue buff anymore. I have mana from all three of my items. And I have really good sustain from Blackthorn. So I'm just going to wait for red buff. My damage is otherworldly right now. He's going to get owned if he ever steps up to me. Um, I could just go do Bull Demon. I'll get Scepter and then go do Bull Demon. I mean, if you're in the middle of the wave, okay, I'll kill you, I guess. Oh, 
Almost. Almost. Is he actually backing? Alright. This should be a free bull demon. If he steps up, he's got no ult. He has no getaway. I kill him for free. Use my three for some extra power. I actually don't even know if he can make it here in time, to be honest. He barely made it back to lane before I killed that. Holy. You want your blue buff, right? You don't want your blue buff? Because I want your blue buff. Why are you neglecting this person? Hello. What is this? Alright. Simple kill. And that's surrender. Alright. One kill a minute. 3,600 gold ahead. Four levels ahead. That's pretty insane. I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, welcome back, gamers, to probably the final game of this Try Hard Thursday. Um, you can see in the chat up up in the top left, well, that, that's my left, that's your left, um, that people want to be play Uller because the last ban that he had was either Uller or Hades. And um, turns out he, he didn't want to fight Uller more, but I'm going to play Hades. Uh, let's go... I mean, I love the tier five skin, but I feel like I always use it. Let's switch it up. Let's go cybernetic overload. Cybernetic overload. Baron. All right. A little bit of Baron. I don't mind a little Baron. I do not mind me a little bit of Baron. Um, you guys coordinated outfits. Oh crap. <laughs> been exposed i'm gonna go blink so thorns build thorns if you're not a magical character and don't build thorns if you are however i will say there are sometimes you can build thorns even as a magical character like right now i have a lot of early pressure that i can i can put on this baron um and because of that i could build thorns and i could maybe actually do something with it because i could like like, well, he, he's going to start his blue. I didn't invade him last game. This is the same person as last game. But um, what I can do, actually, is I could have popped Thorns and then dashed in and used Thorns and three combo at the same time to steal his blue. But, you know, obviously I'm not going to do that when, um, when I don't have Thorns. I never saw his two go off. Alright. If he ever used an ability, I was going to use my three. But instead, he just autoed it. So I got it for free anyways. Auto attack that. Fear these. I'm going to fear him into the archers. His archers do so much damage early game. this um i might get owned here a little bit but it's fine because i'm clearing super fast back into the archers you go oh uh, i think you're dead oh i didn't even need to okay i didn't even need a horrific he doesn't have beads okay he doesn't have beads so i could maybe kill him here actually Um, honestly, if the dual orb did, if the dual orb did turn off phoenixes, then I would have dashed in there, but it's just like, it's just like a normal auto attack. If you're, if it doesn't do damage, it won't turn it off. 
So like I can't turn off Phoenix while tower is up. Also, he could easily steal this if you walk over here. Thank God. That was close. I'm just gonna blink in. Really good damage. So the reason I blinked in there is because I didn't want him to have any pressure. Literally ever this whole game, I just don't want him to have pressure. And so what the blink did is it gave me a better position to clear the wave for free while maintaining that he doesn't get the wave easily. And I can get my XP camp because of how long it takes him to clear the wave. Which means I get level six. He's still level four. I'm never going to die. Um, actually, I'm level seven and he's level four. Just being hyper aggro here. You know, that's what Hades is great at. Hades is great at shutting down everybody. Get rock. He can clear, but he doesn't clear fast enough. Finish Kronos Finan. First item. Alright. I don't mind that, actually. What I am going to do is I'm going to go Pestilence, though. Because... As everybody knows, uh, Baron likes lifesteal. Baron likes healing. He doesn't like lifesteal, I guess. He just likes healing. I'll wait for them to kill that minion so they all group up. Um, his blue buff is up. He again, he doesn't have beads. He will have alt though, so I could die here if I'm too if I'm too like jump the gun on the corner right there. I don't know where he is. There he is. Okay. I wonder if he knew I was there. Nice. I wonder if he knew I was there or if it was just like a lucky coincidence that he didn't use his abilities. All right. I'm very not scared of him. I'm going to alt and then he's going to probably alt as well here. He tried. He tried to alt. If he if he ulted my alt, he probably would have lived there. I'm not going to lie to you. If he ulted my ult, he probably would have lived just because he would have taken so much less damage from my ult. Because of the mitigations you get when you bear an ult. Oh, he's also going Pestilence second. I think he just gave up. I don't think so. I don't think so, because we're past the five minute mark and he, he if he just gave up, he would have surrendered. He's still got some fight left in him. The only reason that I can think of that you wouldn't... That you wouldn't alt my alt is because you want to alt me after my alt and pull me into tower. Which is a good reason, but I had my one available, so I was never going to get ulted into tower. Or at least I was never going to get stunned by tower. Or by him in tower. God, Hades is just so strong, man. Just so strong. Um, I'm just going to go Typhons here. I'm too far ahead to care about defense, I think. One point seven K ahead almost. Eh, it's more about like one point six. I could blink one and maybe catch him with my alt here. Oh, okay. Good turn three. I think I'm just gonna do bull demon. Oh, why are you why are you there? Why are you looking at me still? He does do a lot of burst damage. He could steal this. I don't know. If he steal this, then we're still in for a game. But I'm gonna alt it. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah. 
I did kind of half expect him to show up a bit earlier. Nope. Yeah, he's he's scared. He's scared. He wants that blue buff, huh? You still want that blue buff? You're getting the wave. Honestly, not a bad play. Not a bad play. I don't think I do the damage to take this. I mean, over the course of a minute, maybe. I don't know. Let's all take a nap together. Oh, minions. The sound changed. Am I back to it? Am I taunting? I didn't even press the taunt button. Oh! Why was my character taunting? Disrespectful Phoenix kill. Brother, I sat there for a full 90 seconds. I said I sat there for a full 90 autoing it. That is the least disrespectful Phoenix kill. If he wanted to stop me, he could have. Oh. Oh no. That poor guy. You tanked all his shots while napping on him, dude? Sometimes you just gotta take a nap mid game. It ain't that deep. Blink fear. Bro, how does he keep predicting my blink? That's crazy. That is so good, actually, that he can do that. That's crazy. Very well played. I'm not even trolling, by the way. Like, that's actually super good. Hit Titan. And then let's fear the damage. I could definitely die here, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Uh oh, Titan. Uh oh, stop. Nice. GG. I mean, this was definitely a better game than last game for him. Why does my guy keep going crazy yapping? Oh, it's my abilities. It's my abilities, bro. What the? I'm, just, I'm out here taunting my brains out, but it's just my character being cringe. All right, well... The minion wave will kill that, that titan if I don't. Alright, the minion wave did it. This skin is yapping. I do not like it. It makes me feel toxic, and I'm not trying to be toxic. Anyways, that's going to be Tryout Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, We had a lot of fun. We had some teaching moments in there. And um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.